Yes, I, I, I can. And I'll give you one, just because it's the one I think of right off the bat, off the top. and I learned it from a firm here in Silicon Valley. Um, I'll mention the firm, uh, IDEO. And I used to visit this firm every year. And when I went there, I said, this is interesting. I was talking to somebody else here from the world of product design. I think it's an interesting world because it's, it's an idea play. If they're not great with ideas, they're not going to stay in business. They're not making anything. But they, used to, they had a process called the deep dive for teamwork. We basically took that process and used it to solve managerial problems. It's a way for teams to create prototypes, test the prototypes, and move the prototypes into the firm in about a day. Rather than design products, we focus on strategies, plans for change, um, all sorts of things, and we use their process. It's an industrial strength process for knowledge play and knowledge work. And one place to learn from this, and I think they got their ideas from other places, including Edison. You read how Edison did what he did? He had systematic way to get ideas, prototyping and the like. So there's, there's a lot of things that can be done, efficient, systematic, but it's about moving ideas. And let me just say this. Deep dive and things like it. Everybody here in this audience has the, have processes in your firm. You have processes to manage cash flow. You have processes to manage customer information. Some of you have processes to manage material flow, not everybody. What Deep Dive did, and what I think we have to think about per your question, is create processes to move ideas. And that's about getting people involved and what organizations are starving for. And those processes, the focus of those processes have to be on great conversations. And also on bringing ideas from outside the firm, inside the firm. Because no matter how smart this table is, you have a bunch of smart people at this table? Yes, right? Great. There's more ideas in this room than in this table. There's more ideas in this campus and in this room, and firms have to realize that. So the processes focus on conversations and bringing ideas into a firm, and they can be as refined, as disciplined, as efficient as processes to manage material, cash, and customer information. We just haven't thought about that in the mass production era. And those are the kind of processes I think we need in firms. But again, I think it starts with the individual. They've got to have the appetite and the curiosity. Without that, it's all kind of dead on arrival, and I think that can be instilled. And leadership can set it up as an example.